Nation. Time to jump aboard the Loom Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J. The Illuminator here, also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames. We won't get into that right now. Uh, I took the log cabin birdhouse from weeks ago. I uh, finally got around to taking it off of the, uh, the post. So I want to show you a close-up of what it looks like uh, inside and outside and all that sort of jazz. Now this is the front. Uh, you can see these uh, holes. Now a common misconception is that birds need a big hole to be able to go in, but most birds, if the hole to get into the birdhouse is too big, they won't use it. But as you can see, these holes have been chewed around probably by a squirrel or other type of predator. You can see that the holes, well, it almost looks like it's gray up this close, but the uh, you can see how it's all chewed around. Now these have been outside roughly, I want to say, for about 23 years or so. Um, this was all sprayed down like with a Thompson's water seal or a shellac or something, I can't remember. But this is a, uh, a wonderful close-up version of what it looks like after 23 years of being outside. These holes, it had a roof on it, but these holes were drilled in there by my father to uh, help aerate. It gets too warm, believe it or not would get too warm in something like this. So this is like, when you have a vent in the attic, this would be something like, uh, it serves the same type of purpose. But inside, every bird will make a new nest, but when the birds leave, they just leave the nest right in there. And this was a two apartment complex, like a duplex kind of. But um, pretty, pretty cool, you know, that all of this, I'm getting in the, the light over here, but this is no real way around it but you can see that they'll make their uh their nests out of all kinds of stuff mostly hay and grass and stuff like that but um pretty much anything sometimes you even find pieces of plastic bag and stuff but it's, it's funny how nature works you know pretty cool you know initially i wanted to um think i was I didn't really know it was in this kind of condition at first, but I wanted to see if I could repair it. But when it's this far gone, it's probably uh, a lot easier to start from scratch. So that's probably what I'm going to do. It'll be a project that I do a little bit at a time, and uh, eventually when I do start it, I will chronicle my, uh, my escapades a little bit at a time as I find time to do it. But um, just bear with me. It's not something I'm going to be starting within the next week or so, but... As I do start it, I will, uh, I'll chronicle some of it. It'll be pretty cool, hopefully. And, uh, and who knows, you know, it'll be fun. I, I had fun working on this one. I mean, my dad did a lot of the, the harder work, but when it came to, uh, gluing everything together and, and cutting the pieces, that's, that's pretty fun. So I look forward to it. I love you all. Take care. Have a great rest of the day. Be good to each other. Live the dream. Live strong. Be the miracle. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back.